Hi, I'm Luke from SSL and welcome to this 360 1.3 update video, bringing new functionality to the UFA, UC1 and transport control. In this video, we're going to look at updating your software, setting up the transport control and using this in your sessions. Users will be pleased to know with 1.3, 360 now supports Windows 11, Mac OS Monterey and 12th gen Intel CPU systems. As you can see, we've got a lot to cover in this video, so let's jump right in. You can find the new updated software in one of two ways, either by locating the new update from the support page on the SSL website and proceeding to download the installer for your preferred operating system, or by simply opening the 360 app. Just select the update button on the home screen, updating it to the latest version from here. UC1 owners will also notice a new firmware update is available following the 1.3 software update. This will be made visible underneath the controller icon, so simply click here to update. Let's open up 360. The first thing you may notice is the new control setup page. As you can see, we've separated some of the door configuration onto its own tab in order to bring new transport functionality to this release. As you can see, you can configure up to three different doors across the vMIDI ports. From here, we can then select which door the new transport functionality will be linked to. If you're an existing UF8 user, you still need to ensure you have configured your layers in the UF8 tab appropriately, choosing between your nominated door or the plugin mixer. If you're upgrading from 1.2, these parameters should be the same as you'd previously set them. With the plugin mixer transport set to your preferred DAW, you'll now be able to control transport directly from the 360 plugin mixer, being able to click on the transport buttons to initiate control. Right now, as you can see, the transport bar is empty. The reason being is that the transport is controlled via Huey or MCU commands. Next, we're going to go through how we can set up both Huey and MCU controlled DAWs. For those of you whose DAWs aren't covered here, you'll need to follow the setup instructions as described in the user guide. A note for UF8 users. In the following chapter, we'll be setting up Huey and MCU commands for transport control. You will already have set this up to allow your UF8 to control your DAW, so you can skip past this next section and onto the new UC1 transport control chapter. Here we're going to walk through the steps to set up transport control within Pro Tools. I'm going to assume here we're setting this up as DAW1, so the corresponding SSL vMIDI port will be port 1. First, let's open Pro Tools, then go to Setup, MIDI and MIDI input devices. Then from the list, ensure that any SSL vMIDI ports we need are ticked. We'll then go to Setup menu, Peripherals, MIDI controllers tab. We'll select the type as Huey, and receive from SSL vMIDI port 1 source and then send to as SSL vMIDI port 1. Then make sure in the 360 app on the control setup that DAW1 is set to Pro Tools and the plugin mixer transport is also set up to DAW1, which in this case again is Pro Tools. Alternatively, if you want to set up the 360 transport control in an MCU controlled DAW, such as Logic, we'll set this up as follows. First, go to Preferences and MIDI and ensure that any SSL vMIDI ports we need are selected. In this demo, I'm going to have Logic on DAW2, so the corresponding SSL vMIDI port will be SSL vMIDI port 5. Next, we'll go to the control surfaces setup. Click New, then install from the drop down list in the top left of the window. From the list, we'll choose Mackie Designs, Mackie Control, Logic Control, and click the Add button. If we then click the image of the Mackie Control that has been added to the window, and in the Devices Setup Options list on the left-hand side, we just need to configure the output port to the SSL vMIDI port destination, which in this case, remember, is 5, as it's DAW Layer 2, and then set up the input port to SSL vMIDI port Source 5. Then make sure in the 360 app on the control setup that DAW2 is set to Logic, and the plugin mixer transport is also set to DAW2. Now we're set up, let's look at how the transport bar works with both Pro Tools and Logic. You can see as I press through the transport controls, the transport bar follows. In the plugin mixer, the display format, bars, beats, minutes and seconds, and time code will automatically follow what Pro Tools transport is currently displaying. Now let's jump over into Logic. For MCU controlled DAWs, the transport display will follow either Sympathy or Beats. You can toggle between these directly by clicking within the transport display window. Following user feedback, in 1.3 we've added the ability to control the transport directly from the UC1 hardware. This is again working via Huey or MCU commands, so just make sure you follow the setup instructions we've already covered earlier in this video. 
and make sure your UC1 firmware is up to date. To access the transport functions, make sure the secondary encoder is in bus comp mode first. Then, simply press the encoder to enter or exit transport mode. As you can see, the confirm button acts as the play button and back being stop. Above this, the secondary encoder allows the playhead to be moved back and forth. For UF8 users, the transport control was previously only available via quick keys and user keys set up across one of the five soft key banks. Following feedback from our users and in order to allow more direct control of transport, the cursor pad can now be toggled to become transport control. We simply toggle in and out of transport mode by pressing and holding the channel encoder. Now, the cursor keys are assigned to transport control. As you'd expect, the up arrow is play, the down arrow is stop, the left arrow is rewind and the right arrow is fast forward, with the centre circle button being record. Also note, if you're using more than one UFA, you can vary this setup across them to allow one to be in transport mode and the other to be in its designated door cursor mode. Another brand new feature added for UF8 users following the cursor key transport functionality is to control the 360 plugin mixer transport control directly from the UF8. The cursor keys that were previously inactive in the plugin mixer layer are now able to control the transport and we've enabled the ability to navigate the playhead using the nav functions and channel encoder. We hope you've enjoyed this video on the SSL 360 1.3 update. For all this information and more, you can refer to the UF8 and UC1 user guides, or alternatively, visit solidstatelogic.com.